Well, imagine being shoved into a room filled with clues and puzzles, and the only way out is to work together with your team to solve every single one and try to escape in the time allowed. Welcome to Puzzle Break. It's a real-life video game that just opened a brand new location in Seattle's Belltown neighborhood. But success comes only for teams who work well together. So what does it take to have the perfect team? We decided to put our team. That's Travis and I, <laughs> digital producer Tyler, producer Bavisha, and photographer Walker to the test. Those photos are amazing. Aren't they great? The dream team, <laughs> question mark? Now, we won't reveal any of the secrets to the puzzles themselves because we want you to try that. We want to reveal whether we made it out. Just one tiny problem. The puzzle masters estimate only about 40% of people actually escape. Here we go. All right, go team. And in a moment, you and your team will be trapped in a room and you will have one hour to work together to find hidden clues, solve puzzles, and escape the room. There will be a countdown timer visible in the room. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, but worry not, worry not. Below that countdown timer, throughout the experience, we may send you hints. I have faith in you guys. We have, we have a, awareness of our own limitations here today. I'm Terrified. Overwhelmed. Underprepared. Overconfident. That's going to go a long way. Good luck. And we were left to solve what we didn't quite know we needed to solve. This has to be part of something. Did you break that? Did you break it? That's great. I just figured I would try the door just for fun. <laughs> didn't open. After a bit of fumbling, we found a note. To make the spirits amicable, Spirits, is it alcohol? Okay, ourselves. is this ridiculous? And that's when Travis shared his genius idea, one that none of us have thought of. Let's do it. Trust us, it was brilliant. Something happened. <laughs> but it took us even deeper into the puzzle, making it clear we still had a long way to go to escape. And that clock was a constant reminder we wouldn't have all day. If more than 10 seconds pass and nobody has said anything, you're probably on the wrong track. Guys, we need to talk to each other. What are we saying? Okay, you're right. In addition to constant communication, it became clear there were so many puzzles we needed to divide and conquer. So, while Bavisha directed... Okay, whoever's good at chess, go over there. Walker went to the chess board in the corner. I think I'm solving this. Tyler and I gathered artifacts. Travis carefully read through any letter or poem we found. Only after you found the password and the cipher key. And we came together on things that needed our combined talents. Together. Talents that didn't always work on the first try. Veil. Still nothing. Okay. Nope. Luckily, when we were stuck, we could get help. Okay, we need a hit. Those clues really helped us refocus when we got too far ahead of ourselves and fixated on the wrong thing. <laughs> Focus on Vale and the table. Forget the crypt. <laughs> <laughs> that occasional obsession is what dragged us all down in the middle of our hour, and maybe the only reason. 25 seconds. We didn't make it out alive. Can they give us more time? I still want to escape. Not entirely sure it's going to happen for us. We done. A lot of the insights that you guys had was way quicker than a lot of teams that have never had an experience before. You were on the final puzzle, yeah. and probably another five minutes minimum, and you would have escaped the room. Gah, so close. Being in that room solving puzzles together was such a kick, and we got so used to it, we almost missed the room when we left for the day. But one thing we didn't miss, that darn clock. Oh, just looking at it oh. gives me the... Yeah. Now, interestingly <laughs> enough, Nate, who you saw in the piece, his background is in video game design and software. His co-founder has a PhD in classics. So they were able to combine their talents together, and it's led to an enormously successful project. They're in several spaces in Seattle. They have a couple in New York, and they operate on cruise lines. It was so fun. It was, yeah. What did you guys think about how we did? It was incredible. Um, it was tough. It was very tough. It's hard not knowing what the puzzles are. I'm yeah. looking around the room thinking, yes. like, is that a clue? Is that a clue? It's hard to know. Yeah, we should clarify that. They don't send you into the room with a list. Like, there are 10 clues. Right. We don't know how many no there idea. are. No. We don't know what in what order they come no. in. Or what you're solving at all. I mean, like, I, I thought it was just in one room, and then suddenly another door opened, as yep. you saw on the piece, and yeah. I was like, wait a minute, we're not even close to being <laughs> That wasn't the escape. No, that was just the next part out. of the puzzle. So yeah. what do you think made us a successful team? What were the dynamics that made us successful? 
Well, we each kind of had our own strength, it seemed like. Um, our photographer, Walker, was able to kind of go off on his own and solve a puzzle while we kind of continued on trying to figure out what the heck is next. Yeah, I thought it was really interesting how it did highlight our personalities. I mean, Bavisha, our, our producer, was really producing things. She was, It's yes. really true. And I'm just such a rule follower. Oh, All I wanted to do was look at every clue and follow the rules in order. Yes. You really kept us on track because <laughs> yes. we were going a million different directions, but Travis saying, okay, that's not next on the list. We do have, right. we do have to do this before we can move this. on. I went through and logged the footage, and every five minutes you can hear Travis's voice off in the distance saying, guys, I don't think we're there yet. Or, <laughs> Wait, let's read this again. And yes. it was it was true. You kept us yeah. you Which kept is us kind focused. of the way our editorial meetings it are. <laughs> it's Gotta true. keep us on track. And yeah. what, I, what we love, the reason we wanted to do this is we've all had experiences with teamwork, yeah. right? I mean, you remember it in school, and then <laughs> even now at work or even in social situations, sometimes like six friends get together and that one extra person shows up and it ruins mm -hmm. the dynamic. Yeah, that's right. So why is that? We're going to talk about that. I think so. And we're also asking folks uh, to chime in over on Facebook. That's right. Um, what do you like, working on a team or working alone? We're getting a lot of responses. Cerise is staying positive. She says teamwork is always the way to go, not to mention how incredibly insightful it can be working with others. That's great. So, but there's definitely people on the other side, too. <laughs> we'll read some of them. those later on. I don't yeah. blame them. Thanks, Tyler. And also, if you want to try Puzzle Break for yourself, it's puzzlebreak.com. And again, we it made us curious about team building. So we have a guest joining us live in studio right after the break. We're going to break down what makes a good team and why it's important in life.